Hello, everyone. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. For this week, the upcoming week, we are going to do the following. Our first lesson is going to be a reminder of the post test. We're going to have a post test on the 17th of January. That will be on a Wednesday. And we will be covering the following. So as you already know, the I and S usually is based on general uh, knowledge and information in terms of geography, uh, humanities in general. And we will be highlighting specifically the following. You're going to identify the contents and identify the achievements of a particular society based on a comprehension text. You're going to have a comprehension text. You're going to read through it, try to identify its origin, where did it come from, and its main purpose. Moreover, we're going to discuss and remind you of the different types of maps. We've already taken this in the previous semester, so this will be as a reminder. Uh, we might ask you what a roadmap is, could provide an example or give you a scenario and you'd need to deduce which map is best appropriate. Then we're going to explain diverse global issues and deduce smart solutions. So smart has to be specific, measurable, achievable, or attainable, um, realistic and time specific. So you'll have to give us solutions. Like when I say global issues, we discuss pollution, if you remember, a limited access to education, limited access to healthcare. These are global issues. And specifically, you can retry and relate this with the current issue that is occurring in Gaza. How can we deduce smart goals in order to, uh, let's say, provide assistance for those that are in need? Please take your time and watch the first video. It has the seven continents. Uh, look at where they're all placed. You must know the seven continents as this is part of general information. Click on this image in order to solve and try to place um, the continents based on your understanding of the video. To add, look at this video. It's about the global issues to remind you about global warming, climate change due to our actions and how can our actions also limit these issues. After you've taken a look at the video, Choose one specific global issue and try placing them uh, uh, objectives for them that are smart. And we can perhaps solve this issue by the end of uh, 2030. <clears throat> also, for the further explanation, it's a bit different. So I want you to click on the image and read an article about ancient Egypt, focus on their achievements. Try to relate how their achievements may impact our livelihood today. Maybe there are pre-existing ideas and innovative ideas that have been um, have been changed and modernized to suit our time and place. So take a look at them, okay, in terms of maybe the irrigation system. Do we still have an irrigation system or have we modified it? Afterwards, click on the self-assessment to assess your knowing and understanding and solve the challenging question. Whereas for the second lesson and the third, we're going to have something called a reflection buddy. This lesson is going to be very uh, unique and different because we are going to provide roles for a, uh, for each pair. So what does that mean? Two students will take part in this and um, two students uh, together, like in pairs, so the whole class. And one will take the role of the interviewer. So they'll be asking the question. The interviewee must answer these questions. After we uh, we hear your presentations, we're going to have you sit in front of the class pair, uh, one pair at a time. Yeah, the roles will be switched and those that were the interviewee will become the interviewer and vice versa. I also placed, um, an image here. This image here has to do with some questions that you can ask. You should pick five questions that you feel that you can elaborate most about and try to answer them through your uh, communication skills, through your uh, communication and collaboration with your peer. This is called reflection. And after we're done with all of this, I want to see you imply your creativity by producing your own exit card. So I hope you have a prosperous week, everyone, and this is going to be entertaining when done in class.